you should be thankful it's preparing you for the real world. Uh, because if you don't, if all your experiments work during your PhD and then you go off and do your postdoc and none of your experiments work, you'll be very depressed. You'll think about leaving science and going and working in a bank and make a lot of money. And so um, uh, basically, uh, you've got to try and troubleshoot the experiment, obviously, if it's not working. First of all, you've got to ask if it's the right experiment. Uh, it might be an experiment that your supervisor put you on, but you didn't originate, and maybe you need to explore just how useful the experiment is. But, but often, uh, the reason experiments go wrong, uh, uh, they go wrong all the time. Assays stop working. It can be that the water isn't good, or you've changed your batch of fetal calf serum, or the product that you formerly bought and you now believe is the same product has been changed in some subtle way. There are all sorts of reasons why things don't work. And it can be very difficult for a graduate student who's putting their whole life into it. Of course, once you're a supervisor and you have 10 graduate students, maybe three of them are getting results and the rest of them you don't worry too much about. No, so you try and help them, of course, but, uh, but it's, uh, it's part of the experience, basically, to, to go through a time when things won't work well. Sometimes, too, you can go through an experience where you think you've discovered something enormously important. And you get wonderful results, and the, and the graduate student or postdoc gets tremendously excited. And then with each subsequent experiment, it, gets, it goes away. <laughs> I, I, I refer to this as reverse alchemy. You know what the alchemists did? They took lead and turned it into gold. But in this case, you start with a big piece of gold, which slowly turns to lead. Yeah. So don't be discouraged, uh, but think about what you're doing and think about whether you should be doing it differently and a different approach.